Sando Trini. A San Fernando Story. The Green Face Man. Myths and legends thrived in Trinidad and Tobago. The Green Face Man gripped the imaginations of the people of San Fernando. Nancy's stories and superstitions in San Fernando made it very difficult to extract truth from fiction or fantasy. The legend of the Green Face Man is one of those cases where everyone knows someone who saw the Green Face Man. No one could honestly admit to seeing him with their own eyes. In the search for the elusive green-faced character, a trail led to Calypsonians. These men had connections to places around the world. The Calypsonians who sang the song about the green-faced man were the source of the story of the green-faced man. Lord Christo, sang a song called Frozen Chicken. It was about a woman stealing frozen chicken from the high-low supermarket. He and his group were responsible for importing the green face character into the folklore of Trinidad and Tobago. Christopher Laidlow, a.k.a. Lord Christo was on a tour of the USA from 1952 to 1957. At that time the newspapers were reporting that there was a man without nose nor eyes and a partially severed hand. He prowled the streets at night. The reports reached Trinidad where the people quickly embraced the apparition. He was added to the list of boo-boo or bogey men to discuss on the island. Lord Christo performed in nightclubs in Chicago with the McLean brothers. During the three years he was in the USA, he performed in Philadelphia. There, he heard a lot more about the green-faced man. The newspapers in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania carried many stories of the green man. His name was Raymond Robinson. This man actually walked along the back roads at night. He wished to terrorize no one. He was so grotesquely disfigured that he didn't want his presence to offend anyone. His story was that he was severely burnt in an electrical fire and lost the cartilage on his nose. He drew his breath through a dark hole in his face. He also lost both eyes, ears and lips, and a part of his right arm. He was the original green-faced man. Motorists reported that his skin glowed with a greenish hue when struck by light. This man became the terror of the imaginations of the young children. He was a harmless blind man who was the victim of an unfortunate incident. When Lord Christo sang The Green-Faced Man, he solidified the character as another Jumbie story. This story lingers in the collective memory of children of the 50s and early 60s. Shadows became silhouettes of The Green-Faced Man. His name was used to instill fear into the hearts of unruly or disobedient children in Trinidad and Tobago. Here are some of the McLean's Calypso King's lyrics, The Green Face Man is all about the devil in the town so hush your mouth. The Green Man aka The Green Face Man, walked the back roads in Pennsylvania from the 50s through the 70s. He was 74 when he passed on in 1985. Since then, other names have surfaced to be used by children whose imaginations grow out of control. Just recently, a character called Slender Man emerged from the world of computer gaming and had the same notoriety as the Green Face Man. Two young girls were accused of harming a friend and their defense was that they were influenced by Slender Man. There was no report of the Green Face Man causing harm to anyone. The End